Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth edition of the Timeform Pub Quiz. Now, appearances may be getting a little scruffier and jaded as these wear, wear on, but hopefully the quality of the content is still as high as you want. If it isn't, give us a shout on YouTube or whichever other channel you might be using to watch this. As in the previous three weeks, a range of racing subjects across the whole spectrum. Five questions per round with the odd bonus question thrown in. And we're going to start week four with a round about trainer changes. Uh, which horse won back-to-back -back Group 1 sprints in 2006, under two years after running in a Cartmel Maiden hurdle for a different trainer? So which horse who won back-to-back -back Group 1 sprints in 2006, a matter of two years earlier or so, had run in a Cartmel Maiden hurdle? Question 2. Funfair Wayne landed two rings of the Air Gold Cup for Dandy Nichols after starting his career with Mick Shannon as a two-year-old. Which famous footballer's wife was involved in the syndicate of Funfair Wayne? Which famous footballer's, footballer's wife was involved in the syndicate for Funfair Wayne? And as an addition, I suspect she loved it when the horse won those Air Gold Cups. Question 3. Paul Nichols trained the 1st, 4th and 5th in the 2004 edition of the Queen Mother Champion Chase. 1st was Azertiop, 4th was Chenkos. Which horse was 5th? And the clue there, the horse joined Paul Nichols having never won a race and won 4 races in the lead up to the Champion Chase. Question 4. Who trained Martin Pipe's 97 champion hurdle winner maker stand when he first had a career on the flat? So which trainer trained maker stand in his career on the flat? And I say in his career on the flat and, and, and add a bit more to that because he did run on the flat a couple of times for Pipe. But we want to refer to the, his first stint as a racehorse running on the flat. Who was that with? Question five, finally signing off this round. Too Many Diamonds was a very high profile trainer changer in recent times. How many races did he win in his first season for Dan Skelton, having previously been trained by Claire Ellum? How many races did Too Many Diamonds win for Dan Skelton after joining the stable from Claire Ellum? Thanks very much. The answers will be on shortly. Good luck with the rest of it. Well, the next round of the Timeform Pub Quiz, and this weekend would have normally been the end of the usual jump season at Sandown. So the next set of questions is all to do with the race that was the Whitbread Gold Cup and is now the Bet365 Gold Cup. So question number one, four horses in total have won the race twice. Which horse was the last to do so when they won the race in 2001 and 2003? So that's which horse was the last to win the race twice in, when winning in 2001 and 2003? Question number two, which Grand National winning jockey won the race as a trainer in 2009? So that's which Grand National winning jockey won the race as a trainer in 2009? Question number three, Arkell won the Whitbread in 1965, but what weight did he carry that day? So that's what weight did Arkell carry in 1965? Question number four. In 2012, which winner of the Bet365 Gold Cup had previously won the Arkell Novice Chase at the Cheltenham Festival? So which 2012 winner had previously won the Arkell at the Cheltenham Festival? And finally, question number five. Graham Lee and Ferdy Murphy won the race with Hot Wells in 2007. That horse had won the Scottish National the week before, but who rode him in the Scottish National? So that's who rode Hot Wells in the Scottish National the week before he won the Bet365 Gold Cup.
Got another five questions for you this week for the quiz. Ignore the headwear. I'm just in desperate need of a haircut, so it's probably uh, in everyone's interests, best interest, that I uh, wear some sort of hat. The theme for my five questions this week is Galileo, and um, I'm starting off with an easy question. Galileo is by Sadler's Wells, but who is his dam? Who is Galileo's dam? As a racehorse, Galileo recorded the Derby and Irish Derby double. Which one of his progeny recorded the same double? So a horse by Galileo that won the Derby and then the Irish Derby after that. Galileo took the Breeders' Cup route instead of running in the Ark as a racehorse, but he has sired two winners of the Ark as a sire. Can you name both of them? So name both of Galileo's ARC winners. And question four. Frankel is obviously the highest rated of Galileo's progeny with a time form rating of 147. Well clear of the pack, the rest of, the, of Galileo's progeny. I can tell you, though, that the second highest rated uh, on time form ratings of Galileo's progeny is rated 134. Can you name that horse? So uh, a, a progeny of Galileo, horse by Galileo, uh, rated 134 on time form ratings, his second best behind Frankel. Question five. Galileo sired his 84th Group or Grade 1 winner in November 2019. When he did that, he matched another sire's record. And which sire was it? So for this round, we're going to play Guess the Horse. Um, I'll give you the sire, the dam, and a little clue that will hopefully guide, guide you into uh, guessing which horse it is that I'm talking about. So we'll start with horse one, uh, who's by Invincible Spirit, out of the Mare Zender. Described by time form as having a most potent turn of foot, this horse tasted defeat only once from his eight starts in a career that included four Group 1 wins. Horse number two was by See the Stars and Out of Private Life. This horse, who has a musical name, has a half-brother named after an old master and is described by time form as splendidly tough and reliable. Horse number three, by Giant's Causeway and Out of Sarayir. This Thousand Guineas winner was out of a mare that was a half-sister to Nashwan and Unforwain, and closely re related to Naeth. Horse number four, by Frankel and out of the Jewel Guineas winning mare attraction. This horse won three times in 2019, including when lowering the colours of a subsequent Group 1 winner at York. Finally, horse number five, by King's Best and out of Soviet Moon. This horse's dam was unraced, but she is a half-sister to St. Ledger winner Brian Baru. He won less than half of his races on the track, but that did include both classic and a notable French success. So the next round is all to do with the exploits of female jockeys. So the first question is who was the first female jockey to complete the Grand National course? So that's who's the first female jockey to, to get round and complete in the Grand National.
Question number two. Hayley Turner shared the Apprentice title in 2005 with which other jockey? So that's who shares the Apprentice title with Hayley Turner in 2005. Question number three, who was the first female to ride a grade one winner over fences? So that's who was the first female jockey to ride a grade one winner over fences. Question number four, in what year did Alex Greaves dead heat in a Nunthorpe on Yama Lack? So that's in what year did Alex Greaves dead heat in a Nunthorpe at York on And finally, question number five, Nina Carberry won the cross-country chase at Cheltenham four times in her career on which three horses? So that's Nina Carberry won the cross-country chase at the Cheltenham Festival four times in her career on which three horses? Best of luck. This round is going to be all about uh, Nicky Henderson. I'll start with question one. Which horse provided Nicky Henderson with his first ever Grand National win last season? Question two. Henderson swapped yards with which former champion flat trainer when setting up base at Seven Barriers in 1992? Question three, name the only five horses to have beaten Boover Dare when he's completed over jumps. Question four, Henderson has won the Triumph Hurdle a record breaking seven times, but which two of his champion hurdle winners were beaten in that race? Finally, question five, which champion trainer was Henderson assistant to for five years before taking out his own license in 1978? Now time for the answers for Time Farm Pub Quiz, week number four. This round was about trainer changes, five answers to spin through. Firstly, we wanted to know which horse who won back-to-back -back Group 1 sprints in 2006 had previously, only two years earlier, running a Cartmel Maiden hurdle for another trainer. We wanted to know who that was. It was Les Arcs. Number two, Funfair Wayne was a dual winner of an Air Gold Cup. Um, which famous footballer, come manager, come pundit's wife was heavily involved in the syndicate of Funfair Wayne? That was Kevin Keegan's wife. Um... Number three, Paul Nichols trained the first, fourth and fifth in the 2004 champion chase. We know that Azertiot won the race. We know that Chenkos was fourth. We wanted to know who was fifth. That horse was Ven Ottery, joined the stable of Maiden and won four races in the lead up to the champion chase bid. Uh, the answer to number four, we wanted to know who trained Martin Pipe's 97 champion hurdler make a stand in his first stint on the flat and we stress that because he did run back on the flat for Pipe with a bit of success but the trainer who had him initially was Henry Candy and lastly we wanted to know how many races too many diamonds won in his first season with Dan Skelton having been with Claire Ellum the answer to that was seven hope you did well speak soon So time for the answers in regards to the round, all to do with the whip bread that's now the Bet365 Gold Cup. So the first question was, which was the last horse to have won the race twice? It was Ad Hoc, who won the race in 2001 and 2003. Question number two was, which Grand National winning jockey won the race as a trainer in 2009? That was Carl Llewellyn, who won it with Hennessy. Question number three, what weight did Eiffel carry in 1965, it was 12 stone seven. Question number four, which horse had previously won the Arkell Novice Chase at the Cheltenham Festival in his career and also won the Bet365 Gold Cup in 2012? That was the enigmatic tidal bait. 
And then question number five, who rode Hot Wells in the Scottish National the week before he won the Bet365 Gold Cup? That was PJ McDonald. So the answers. Question one was Galileo is by Sadler's Wells, but who is his dam? The answer was Urban C. Question two was which of Galileo's progeny followed in his footsteps by winning the Derby and then the Irish Derby? And the answer was, of course, Australia. Um, third question, Galileo took the Breeders' Cup route instead of running in the arc as a racehorse, but he has sired two winners of the race as a sire. Uh, name them both. Those were Found and Valgeist, the most recent winner of the arc. Um, fourth question. Franco obviously boasts the highest time form rating of any of Galileo's progeny. Who is the second on that list with a time form rating of 134? That was Rip Van Winkle. And question five. Galileo side his 84th group or grade one winner in November 2018, 2019. Matching which other sire's record? That sire, of course, was the legendary Dane Hill. That's question five, the answer, Dane Hill. So we'll spin through the answers to the Guess the Horse round. Uh, horse number one, by Invincible Spirit and out of Zender. Uh, that was Kingman. Horse number two, by See the Stars and out of Private Life, Stradivarius. Horse number three, uh, by Giant's Causeway out of Sarriere, that was Ganati. Uh, horse number four, by Franco and out of Attraction, that was Elecan. And finally, horse number five, by King's Best out of Soviet Moon, that was Workforce. So time for the answers in regards to the rounds to do with female jockeys. So question number one was... Which was the first female jockey to complete in the Grand National? That was Geraldine Rees. Question number two. Uh, which jockey did Hayley Turner share the title with in 2005? The Apprentice title. That was, of course, Celine Golem. Question number three. Who was the first female to ride a grade one winner over fences? That was Lizzie Kelly. Question number four. What year did Alex Greaves dead heat in the Nunthorpe? That was 1997. And question number five, Nina Carberry won the cross-country chase four times at the Cheltenham Festival on which three horses? That was Heads on the Ground, Garchan Petra won the race twice, and then Josie's, order, Josie's Orders was promoted to the winner um, in 2016 when any currency got disqualified. So the answers to the Nicky Henderson round. Uh, question one. Which was provided Nick Henderson with his first ever Grand National win last season? That was uh, Brain Power, who won the 2019 American Grand National. Question two, uh, the answer was Peter Walwyn. Question three, the five horses to have beaten Boobadale when he's completed over jumps. Altior Min, Vedana Blue, Super Sunday and Cornerstone Lad. Question four, uh, Nick Henderson's two champion hurdle winners that were beaten in the Triumph Hurdle. Uh, Sia then, who was second in 1984, and Punjabi, who was fourth in 2007. And finally, the champion trainer that Henderson was assistant to for five years before taking out his own licence, that was Fred Winter.